Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and today we're in Los Angeles and I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Joanna Chikwi, who is the founding chair of cardiac surgery at Cedar sinai Medical Center. Dr. Chikwi, it is great to see you again. Great to see you, Adam. Yeah, we're here in your office having some great conversations about valvular disease management and treatment. One of the conversations was about TAVR, transcatheter aortic valve replacement, and SAVR, surgical aortic valve replacement. And we were both kind of amazed at this ramp in TAVR. I think last year over 90,000 TAVRs were done, but at the same time, patients are still having a lot of their valves treated surgically. So the big question for you is today, what should patients know about TAVR or SAVR? So TAVR, absolutely great solution for older patients with tight aortic stenosis, super safe. Um, surgery becomes a really important option for younger patients, and that's because younger patients need lifelong solutions. So we don't just want to use biological valves, which may wear out and need several more procedures. We want to think about better solutions. Um, for patients in their 20s, 30s, 40s, we always talk about a ROS procedure. That can give people, as you know, really the best freedom from needs for medications and other procedures. Some patients might be suitable for mechanical valve replacements, and that's not something that can be done through a catheter. And then there are patients who have got aneurysmal disease of the aorta, and, and they need a very specific and different approach because a TAVR isn't really the safest option for them. Well, I appreciate it. For those of you out there who don't know, I had a Ross procedure done almost 18 years ago without reoperation, so it has worked for me, but that's not for everybody. And I'm real curious to know, Dr. Uh, Chikwi, when you meet with patients, you reference the lifelong management of valve disease. Is this something with every patient who comes through that door, you sit down and map out with them what might happen down the road? We absolutely do, because it's such a key part of the decision making. We also map out what are the implications of having a mechanical valve and needing anticoagulation? What is the stroke risk long term, as well as what is the risk of reoperation? Um, if we choose to place a tissue valve, how can we set that patient up for success through potentially more than one procedure? And always remembering that a redo aortic valve surgery, four or five days in the hospital, super low risk, something you can plan, it's nothing like as devastating as the complications of mechanical valves, anticoagulation, um, stroke. Well, Dr. Chikwi, on behalf of all the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world, thanks for everything you are doing here at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles. Thank you, Adam. Hi, everybody. It's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit parkvalvesurgery.com.